So I'm back in India for the second time. I haven't been here since I was a little girl. I must say that it is quite emotional to be here. There's so much visual stimulation here. There's so much life here. There's so much art and beauty. To go to the Taj Mahal and then to go to the museum and see how all of the marble was made and how long it takes and the dedication that it takes and the craftsmanship. It's kind of overwhelming, but at the same time, it, it's so beautiful that I, I'm at a loss for words. I mean, the Taj Mahal, you know, it's such a beautiful love story, such an intense love story to have that type of passion for somebody and then to show it through art. I'm feeling very proud and I'm feeling also very humble. While I was in India, I did a photo shoot for El India, and it was amazing for so many reasons. The beautiful, colorful saris, the traditional makeup, the traditional jewelry, the fact that my daughter was there so she could see all of the vibrancy that makes part of her heritage so special. And it definitely gave me a different perspective on my trip to India. I was happy to be in India for so many reasons, but I was also able to partner with Vogue and Forever Mark to launch and display my 25 karat diamond evil eye body chain. To be able to share my design with a room full of entrepreneurs, activists, strong women who are helping to shape and protect India was really a highlight of the trip. You can't fully understand the Indian culture until you shop in the markets. It's where you experience the melting pot of art, music, food, culture. Ava and I shopped at Dilly Hot Market and I love seeing her reaction to the different booths, the impromptu musical street performances. You really start to feel a connection with the people because the market is such a foundation of how they live their lives every day and the history of the country. And it was such a treat to have my daughter there to see some of what makes her beautiful. Creating jobs for women is something I'm passionate about and was so fortunate to be able to start a project in India with Lauren Bush Lauren who founded the Feed organization. We designed a bag together that's handmade in India and for each one sold, we can feed 100 school children. What's really extraordinary is to see some of the women that are working on the bag and to know that this order they've been given through feed will provide employment for them. Visiting the artisans, you see the pride they take in their work and how important these projects are, both in creating jobs and in being able to take care of their families. And on some level, they're all entrepreneurs of their own. I met Children's Hope India about six years ago while I was looking for a charity to work with that benefited Indian children. Within the Children's Hope facilities, they are much happier that they have a structured path of education and enrichment, and what that will give back to both the community, the country, to the world at large is such a hopeful experience, and I love working with them. I just hope to bring back a story of hard work and dedication and enjoying what you do and being thankful for what you do because without that, what are we doing here?